Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea, the last episode as the US. So this will be the weather, like win or lose, well we're not going to lose, but win or not win, this will be the last episode, I've decided. Um, objectives for today, we're going to send our task forces over and try to get a bombardment of Cape Hoskins. We're going to try to do an invasion of Shorten Islands. But more than anything, I really hope that Florida Islands falls so that we can continue to build up the air base here to level five and hopefully achieve a real victory. Um, name of the game here is Speed. So without further ado, we're just gonna try to get everything done as quickly as possible. 400 supplies, more supplies. Is this a place that needs supplies? Not really, but then where these days does need supplies? Like pretty much nowhere. Um, you have troops, supplies, all kinds of stuff. So you're just going to go all the way, you're not going to make it to Shortland Islands, my friend. I am most afraid. So now this um, destroyer group, unfortunately, is still around without a carrier. Oh, brother. Well, anyway, we'll figure it out. Doesn't matter. I, yeah, I actually don't want... <laughs> Crap. I might even time... Um, just, uh, sorry, pause the video for this. I am gonna have to kill these destroyers. Okay, that one I'm gonna take out first, because that's one less destroyer icon on the map I have to worry about. Oh, what am I thinking? I can actually launch... No, wait. Oh, I have one of these. Okay, well, you can go over here. Um, you can move back down into the slot. Um... Yeah, I think I will still go for that one. Okay, there it is. And we'll do... Well, we'll just do this really quick. 10 versus 1. We should be able to get it. No problem, right? So, break off you guys into another group. Break form up. Target, and just start going. No. Go, go, go. Let's see how this works. With only one destroyer, I'm kind of assuming that we're going to have some success. Didn't even bother identifying it. Looks like a Fubuki. She'll be able to put up a pretty reasonable fight as far as anti-aircraft goes. Oh, we have people in line ahead. Damn it. I not think about that. Well, that's just that's fine. That's fine, considering we're coming at her basically perpendicular, I think that line ahead is not an unreasonable uh, formation. Oh, that was not good. More on the way, hopefully somebody gets her. This is less than stellar. Wow. You guys are perhaps the worst ever. Thank you, please go away. Time to pause. I was looking for it. <sighs> that was a muffled sneeze, but sorry about that anyway. Okay, so that was well. We actually did moderate damage, thank God. But pretty, pretty poor attempt. Let's get you to launch more aircraft. 0.6 hours. Okay, and speed on up. Let's get going. Is it time yet? Can you? How much time? Because, oh man, they're gonna land and then we're gonna have to, damn it. Now it's probably more, 0.8, yep. Okay, fine. We'll get Baker over here. We'll just have Baker start contributing. So you're going this way, that's perfect. Um, yeah, you'll just head over this way too, who cares. <clears throat> well, around noon we're expecting Florida Islands to tick. Seven, six, one, 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 eight. Six, one, one, eight. Zebra's going that way. Combo and Rabbit's going back. It's all looking good. Australia's right now. I don't care about Australia. Hornet. Good. That's the one we want. Launch. Okay, let's launch a um, rocket armed Avengers. And this time we'll keep them out for the full length. Enemy troops were defeated at Florida Island. 
America. Okay, good. So there, there's, there's that. Um, looking good. Got our Avengers out to take out that one group of destroyers. Might even let that group of three go. It looks like they aren't gonna try to interfere with our plans. Try to get this one in there a little bit tighter. If possible. Okay, keep going. Hornet ready to launch. Oh, perfect. So now we get the uh, dive bombers out. Should have just not even bothered. Okay, good. All right, so let me. Ju I'm just gonna cut this video. Come on. Oh, fine. This adventure is fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, let me pause. Okay, aircraft are approaching. A, a fire is going up. Let's see how the Avengers do. Do they open their bomb bays? I forgot. Yeah, they do. Oh, silly. Alright, we're getting hits. Hooray! Looking good. Looking very good. Why we went with the Dauntlesses. Boy, that was way better. Should be a kill. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. Treat. Boom. Done. Um, don't RTB. Just sit there for a bit. Wait. No, wait. We already launched. Did we already launch RTB? Yeah, okay. So you guys can RTB. No problem. Um, I might go and bomb the group of three, but um, they're not... As it, it appears, at least, like they're not going to be interfering with my invasion, so that I don't really care. I'll just go ahead and move up a little bit, I guess. Like, what are you guys doing? Oh, you, you were going to scout, but now let's just move you forward. Do you guys have troops? No. Yeah, we'll protect the convoy, at least this way. And we almost got the next landing in. So yeah, things are looking really good. Um, we're just... Green across the across the the map. Everything's looking good. This has been an interesting series. Um, first of all, I want to mention that I was just before the video began talking to Wolfpack three four five, and we were kind of talking about he's using the Tokyo Mod Express in his his U.S. campaign. So if you want to see more America, I'm sure you guys already know his channel. Or if you don't, what are you doing? Go check out Wolfpack three four five. But uh, he's, yeah, he's got uh, the Tokyo Express mod, and I think that helps a fair bit. At least, we think it helps a fair bit. Oh, were these the Dauntlesses? Well, I didn't really need to fight with them anyway. <laughs> oh, gosh, wow, you're just gonna miss all the things. Are you guys close enough to land? It looks like you are. Manage cargo. Yep, okay. Well, what do we got? Troops. 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 That's a lot of troops without supply. Really hope we get supply there quickly. Yeah, we only have 1,000 troops there. I mean, we have 1,000 troops, but I was hoping would be like equal or so, but no, apparently they have like 6,000 troops here. So I don't know what the realistic like mechanism for conquering these places is without cheating. Are you really expected to spend like 40 real life days playing this game in order to get to, to get that kind of like to have that time I don't know seems like an oversight on the game design pers um, perspective so we'll send them back this way um, we'll just keep dropping them off it's for fun anyway next thing we want to do so everything here has been accomplished as we wanted it I guess zebra needs to get over there first once zebra goes or not yeah well that's fine we don't care Let's get you to continue up this way. Park you here. Get the tuna to push up a little bit, just so we have a slightly earlier, early warning. 
Um, these guys are going to need help in a little bit. Looks like we're getting pretty close over here. Speeding right along. Okay, so let's get make sure that these guys do have orders to keep going. Round the bend. The green light has been given. Go, go, go. Seven hours. Yeah, that'll be around midnight, but again, this is this only has to be a one-way journey. We expect that the amount of damage we do after arriving there is enough to prevent a re, you know a serious retaliation at least. So let's get you to go like so. Like so. Like so. And you're 10 hours away, but 10 hours is still going to put us at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay, that's a little bit closer. Uh, who cares? We'll do it. Okay, there's still... That's the group of eight that was escorting. So, yeah, you're just sitting here because I'm... Didn't give you orders, did I? <clears throat> we do want other convoys to go this way, I think. So let's have you set a course up here. Sorry. The roundabout direction, but that's just like destroyer ally. Our alley. But they don't mind if we just go up around north, so go ahead and do it. <clears throat> um, Gar encounter. Where are you? Oh, Gar. Okay. So another group of six destroyers. We will ignore this as well. Please don't go up. Please don't go up. Please don't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's just funny that this is happening. Like, all while... Oh, and we're making our way. <laughs> it's just so funny. And where is the other carrier, anyway? Okay. <clears throat> we can drop supplies and more supplies. Perfect. We actually managed that perfectly. So they got on the ground. You gotta assume the troops are gonna have... You know, at least 12 hours of supply, which is about what they needed there. Now we just get right back on out. This is awesome. Is there su troops and supply here? Yeah, there's troops and supply. Perfect. Okay, so we'll need to send more troops and more supplies, since they have like 6,000 there, but nothing a little game editing can't solve, right? <clears throat> anyway, we're not going to take it in this campaign unless I edit, and I don't really care to. So let's get Convoy Zebra's situation attended to. Drop off their troops, the supplies. I think we're in good shape here, though. Well, yeah, we definitely are. That's all good. More supplies. More supplies. More troops. Is that all of them? Okay, I'm seeing zeros across the across the board. <clears throat> does 6,000 give us the numerical advantage? It does, yeah. Very clearly the numerical advantage. So we can uh, just kind of imagine that situation has been dealt with. Eventually, unless they land more, it has. Uh, now, this is a group which could take on some stuff. Let's get some troops. Whoops. Let's get, start loading this stuff. It's obviously not going to mean much, but for fun, we'll just do it. Uh, three. No tankers. Okay, so. One, two, three. I think we'll go with this many troops and that many supplies. Actually, it needs to be a little bit different, huh? <clears throat> if we go even... <clears throat> Man, my throat. This is every video is like this. So I think we're going to have to drop one of the troops for supply instead. Okay, good enough. Just get going. This is, again, just more like role-playing than anything else. Because we don't need these troops or these supplies. But that's okay. <clears throat> I mean, uh, in War in the Pacific... War in the Pacific... The, a super elite, detailed, ultra complex, very difficult to pick up, um, hex based war game by Gary Grigsby. Um, we'd have to resupply all, all these areas just generally, which is kind of cool. But in this game, you, know, you don't need supply unless. Oh boy. Where? Oh man, two destroyers. Okay, well, uh, this is my battleship group. Oh my god, it's my battleship group. Well, let's um, at least turn on our radar first. But I don't think I'm going to fight this. I think we're just going to turn and retreat. Actually, we don't need to turn. We just retreat right away. 
So navigate this way and start the retreat count. I don't care. Wait, no, not Henley, not this one. Go up here. Man, we could actually fire at them. Oh god, auto fire's on. Is it? It's not. It's not on. Hooray! So we, uh, well, they're turning towards us, but that's okay. We only have a minute and a half more. No, we definitely are firing. God damn it. Hold fire. Like, who the hell is firing? You are firing. No, you are not. Who the hell is firing? Oh, it, it was them. Okay. Well, we don't care about their stupid destroyers. It might even take less time for us to sink them, if I hit them with the Washington, for example, but... Oh, God, okay. Well, let me just cut away. Okay, that's how we do it. We just leave battles. We're just gonna ignore that this group ever happened, and uh, on, on with the show. Because, again, we got stuff to do, and it's 15 minutes into a video that is the last of the War on the Sea videos. Okay, making our way over here. It's just so many damn destroyers. I mean, if you look at this, you know the game is broken. <laughs> it's not a healthy game that puts that many destroyers up into the slot. It's just it's not, it's not working. Okay, let's go ahead and do our short bombardment. Okay, we have no ammo left. Good to go. Get on out. But don't worry, the light cruisers and destroyers have ammunition just in case we encounter uh, whatever Fox just ran away from, which is funny. Okay, Gar, let me just hit go to. What do we have here? Another one destroyer. Eh, ignore. Thank you for your fantastic spotting, though, Gar. It's been much appreciated. Okay, next one's up. Down to three, level three. Let's see if we can shake that down even more. Okay. And now it's down to one. So now we already don't have to worry about it. The only thing it can launch is fighters. Since we already took the time to run all the way over here, might as well just finish her off, right? Make sure she's really no threat to anyone anymore. This is, this is totally crippling. I mean, you can imagine. I don't think that short bombardment missions like this uh, make sense or would be this effective. However, if it was such a thing, I mean, if such a thing could, could actually happen, yeah, we are like completely obliterating uh, the Japanese ability to do war in this area. Not that the lack of ships wouldn't already have done that, but, you know, the lack of any non-destroyer ships would already make this a uh, just complete disaster for them. <clears throat> Nonetheless, okay, so we have Convoy Terror, which can actually just go home. Go home. Just go. Just go. Oh, my God, they, they're going the wrong way. Oh, oh, that was close. The destroyer almost came to us. Thank goodness. Just need to inch a little bit more away. Or maybe I just let my battleships get into it. I mean, we, we gotta protect the convoy, so we'll go down there. Why not? Oh. Air operations are now available. I don't even think I care. Well, except for this. I do care. Well, no, no, no. We don't really care because... Yep, zero. Okay, cool. My battleships still have ammunition, but... I don't want to do short bombardment of Rabul, even though that would be, uh, I mean, it's possible. Because I don't want to knock them down. I've heard that the last carrier... What? Okay, I have, apparently have to begin this. have to see if I end up needing out we can leave. Fair enough. Okay, good. Just get that over and done with. And we are making all the progress I wanted to make. Hooray! Yeah, I think this is it then. We pretty much have done everything I wanted to do. Oh. <laughs> it's the same group. 
Fine, you know what? Fine. We will fight you because, honestly, mission accomplished. Everything I wanted to get done is done. So let's just go ahead and do this. Turn off fire at will. Maybe it's off at night when you're not sure you're, de um, you're detected. Should have launched a float plane. That would have been smart, but that's fine. Also not a big deal. Let's navigate over to the west. See if we can see him first, but... Turned off um, auto fire, and then the Washington is going to get a chance to use her big guns, supposedly. We'll see. Oh, yep, she will. And why wait? Let's target this. What do we have going on here? We have a lot of scrolling in to do. Oh my gosh. It's the most modern of their destroyers. That's cool. <laughs> there it is. The Akazuki. Well, this is going to be fun. Let's see what happens when a 18-inch uh, shell, sorry, 16-inch shell, been playing too much Rule of the Waves. <laughs> when a 16-inch shell hits a, a destroyer, this could be painful. Narrow spread. Let's do a full spread just until we can dial in the range. Manual. <clears throat> Looks like we should do something like... Uh, 13,000 yards. And then we'll hold fire after that round goes out. Honestly, we'd be better off using the Phoenix. The Phoenix, I think. It's just going to obliterate her. But let's at least watch as that one goes down. As that... I, I, I think I'm going to end up hitting too early. Before her. Yeah. Those are some mighty big shells. But we can always target um, with Phoenix number two for a little bit. Do some manual fire. I think we just target the Akazuki almost directly. Um, it should be about the range for hitting uh, her companion ship. What is this? It's a tiny old thing. Definitely not what you'd want to be chasing a destroyer in. I mean a battleship in. Wakatake? It's, it's gotta be, right? Yep, just about to get him. Okay, which means that we can probably already stop fire with you. One more barrage, I guess. Fine. Um, and then we want to turn a little bit more. Oh, okay, the, the, I think the turn's going to get there eventually, but it just didn't get there yet. And next one, I think that was the last one we sent. So now we just go back and fire again. Oh, no, we got... Okay, that was good. Okay, fire again. Maybe we'll do three rounds. Or three barrages. Okay, I went with four. Next one should hit. Oh, they got one hit finally. She's already smoking just from one hit, but these are six inch guns, so. That was so close, but no cigar. Well, let's see if we can get her in the next one. She hasn't turned yet, which is strange to me. Boy, she took some hits, though, huh? Oh, yeah, that's looking really good. Oh, okay, good. We, at least we got one hit there. Oh, yes, finally the rest of our guns are... We're getting, like, full broadsides now. Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. She's a pretty light ship. She probably can't handle that much. 
She's also firing away, so go on her. Still fighting back, despite the odds here. Looks like she might be slowing down. 20? Not too much. So let me get Patterson as well to, like, oops, navigate even more obliquely, just because I want to make sure that we're avoiding uh, any potential damage. Oh, we actually got hit there. This is good timing. Not being repaired, though. I don't expect that that's going to be that big of a concern. Um, you should be holding fire, because I think that... Oh my gosh, just in time to see her just get obliterated. Oh, brother. We got more more guns going downstream, too. Oh, man. We probably have already killed her. I think that we don't need to do anything more. Oh my gosh, just kidding. Just in case that wasn't already enough. That probably is. And just one more for good measure, I think. Look how quickly these are coming in, too. Nope, that's it. But that one's a dead ship. Um, maybe we can weaken up the Akazuki a little bit for the incoming 18 inch, sorry, 16 inch shells. Looks like she's pipping a little bit more, even. We're almost on the money right away. Which doesn't bode well for the Akazuki. <laughs> yep, there's a hit already. Yep, a couple more hits. Let's hold fire, yeah, it looks like we're missing that. Um, let's go ahead and... More like that. Maybe two like that. Maybe three like that. Whoa, oh, oh. Let me get the walkie talkie again. I'm gonna let another round go because I didn't realize how. Oh, wow, no, 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 no. Hold fire. I don't want to sink her. Not the point to sink her. I think we're pff, set her on fire already. All right, Washington, come on. Show us what you got. I think she's keeping her guns trained there, but she's not firing yet. She's not firing. Okay, the Akazuki is slowing down. A little bit, but not much. It does look like she's slowing down, though. Let's try this. <laughs> oh lord, if this hits. Let me pause real fast. I want to tell the Phoenix to hold fire. Washington now, you're the one. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh no, we missed. Okay, we'll fire again when we can. Like, they say that she, I thought she was actually going faster, but she does not look like she's going very fast. She might already be, I mean, that might be a sign that she's already being sunk, but okay. We'll aim a lot closer to her this time. Ready to go. Shells her out. Oh yeah, there it is. That's the one. <laughs> I can't tell if that was one hit or two, but look at that. <laughs> what what do you know when you get hit with 16 inch shells and you're already on fire? It's not a good sign. This would be like the pr practically a war crime, but while we're having fun with it, might as well take a crack at the walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. She's also going pretty slow. Shells are out. That might have been too short. She's only going 13 knots. We can practically target her where she is. Almost a hit, man. If you saw those, I would just... I don't know about you. If it were me, I would already be abandoning ship. But 
I would have already been shipped about 10 minutes ago when I even saw this, so... You know, don't use me as the banner of bravery. Okay, should have no problem hitting right here. I feel really bad for what I have just done, but it's too late. Can't take those shells back once they leave the barrel. Sorry, my friend. Oh my god. And there it is! Turns out that... <laughs> 16-inch shells are a very quick way to win a battle against destroyers. Okay, so that was kind of a comical, fun, light conclusion to uh, the surface combat. I don't think we'll do any others. Um, you know what, we might even just call it to a close here. We are being attacked by dive bombers, it looks like. This is exciting. So yes, do fire at will here. Uh, <laughs> we haven't really gotten much further, turns out. You should just flee the combat zone, Kingfisher. But speaking of, that's what I should be doing. So all eyes on the Washington. We should also try to make best speed. And probably get at least 25 out of, out of that. Okay, and then just focus on the Washington when they all come in, see what happens. Two more minutes before they arrive. Here they come. All right, shells are going up. As that's kind of a lot of a fire, but then we've been through much worse, I would say. They are going to get their bombs off here. And we are getting some hits. Quite a few hits, in fact. It does look like our AA is scoring a lot of kills after the fact. Whatever, that must be the Atlanta. Oh, they're actually targeting... Looks like they're targeting the San Diego. Speaking of the Atlanta, this is not the one I would want to go after if I was a destroyer or a dive bomber. Hey, okay, San Diego is hit by one bomb. Now these are not carrier based, as far as I know. This almost surely emanate from. By the way, let's go way down now. They almost surely emanate or originate from Rabal. Let's slow down and just kind of take stock of the damage. Looks like um, the Phoenix. I was like, wait, that's the Phoenix. Okay. The Phoenix is very. Oh, so, no damage. Washington, very light damage. Very cool to see. Washington just happy to tank that damage just fine. San Diego, just repairing a little bit of damage on the side. Man, I have to say that was a lot better than I expected it to be. It is exciting being dive bombed, though. That was actually pretty cool. And I was pretty nervous for the Washington when those bombs first hit. But that said, I mean, the Washington does have some extremely thick deck armor. I don't think we would see flooding. I think there was flooding, but I'm actually surprised that there's even flooding. Um, a lot of superstructure damage, I think. Possibly jamming turrets or something like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and leave. Uh, so just knocked four aircraft out of the sky. That's good as to our final tally. Okay, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. Level 5. And what does that mean? Does it... Is it an instant win? Okay, well, that's apparently just an instant win. 25th of August, 1942. Wow, that's quick. Allied forces are victorious. Guadalcanal has been secured, and the newly constructed airfield is already playing a pivotal role in providing air superiority over the Solomon Islands. The loss of men and materials during the Guadalcanal campaign has taken a Heavy toll on, on Japan's war effort. Boy, you could say that again! The momentum of the war now swings against Japan as the Allies make plans to continue the push through the Solomon Islands, as well as start new offensives across the Gilbert and Marshall Islands. Japan's plan for a quick victory and negotiated peace are beginning to unravel. Wow. So obviously this game, when they write this, I mean, 
it's not surprising and it's not unexpected. It's what you would expect that they'd write some generic kind of cookie cutter uh, victory on screen. And I think it's nicely done. It's just comical that this so underscores the like brutal nature of the conflict. I mean, the, this, you didn't see it because I don't know if I checked on the, on the video recording this one. But before I began, I was looking, I was talking with Wolf, like I said, and I saw that I, he asked like why I hadn't retrieved that victory. I think that was like a beta victory thing where you had to sink like a hundred more ships than the enemy, something like that, but um, they apparently that never propagated through, it didn't sit well with people, who knows. Anyway, I've, I have sunk 200 before this episode began, and they have sunk five of my own ships, which I think is three, two destroyers and three submarines. Anyway, um, let's see what happens when we hit continue. Oh, we can look through all this. Okay, so there it is. Five ships sunk, and this is probably going to be more than that now. Yeah, up to 203 ships sunk. So, we almost sank 200 more ships than they did. Not to mention that the three ships that we lost were, as I said, three submarines and two destroyers. Uh, even if the Japanese didn't take very heavy casualties, even if they only took light casualties, Taking Guadalcanal and only losing three submarines and two destroyers would have been a huge success, a huge victory for the Allies, well, for the United States. But the fact that we sank 200 ships, I mean, all their heavy ships, except for one carrier, which just, you know, I don't think it even sallies out for quite a while. That's crazy. Anyway, um, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. Uh, I do want to say that for people who have made it all the way through 72 videos, um, shout out to Buck, I think that was his number in high school or something like that, so there you go Buck. Um, I would say it's amazing that you had as much patience, I guess, as I did to, to finish the series. I also want to say I take the comments from people who obviously are invested in my channel enough to watch a full series like this um, pretty seriously. So if you have any comments or recommendations about stuff that you would like to see on the channel, maybe recommend different games, different gameplay series. Um, I'm kind of all over the map with things I might want to do next. Um, War on the Sea will be coming up, but it won't be coming up again right away. I always take a break. I think Wolfpack actually jumped right into his, his American campaign, which is crazy. Me, I, I need to take a break from War on the Sea. Um, especially the way the grind worked with this one at the very end, and hey, the fact that I went 72 episodes, but that is kind of like the Tortuga way. I don't like to end series early, I like to finish them when they're done, and that can be very, very rarely. I think Shadow Empire, the most recent one, I mean, I mean, it might be the only one I've ever stopped early just because I got too tired of doing it. Um, but normally I like to push on because I know that I've been watching people and been a little disappointed when they left the series a little uh, prematurely, at least from my perspective. So yeah, anyways, feel free to leave a comment about that, uh, anything that, that you'd like to see besides War on the Sea. Um, mods that you would like to see me use for the next War on the Sea game. My strong impression is that I'm going to play the Japanese side with the, the Tokyo Express mod and no other mods, but that can change. Other than that, uh, yawn. Um, I think that's it. So, I don't even know what to do. The campaign's over, because if we can't continue, that's it. So we'll go ahead and wrap up the video here. Uh, it was a long journey. It was a fun one. I hope you enjoyed uh, this series. Um, if you have never seen my channel before, uh, a game which is a bit similar, I mean, it's the same people, Killer Fish, that you might enjoy is the Cold Waters series. Um, if you don't mind getting behind some pretty poor graphics, Rule the Waves is a really cool game. Uh, it's it's basically about ship design starting with the 1900, like starting at 1900. So you talk about your pre-dreadnoughts, those old battleships with just you know two big turrets, and then a bunch of tiny guns, and then you get your dreadnoughts, and you move through World War One. You start getting your 
faster battleships, and then you get into carriers and all that. So in the current series, I'm playing on as Austria-Hungary, and uh, I just got into the carrier era. I'm in one of my battles right now is my battleships against uh, an enemy force that has carriers. It's kind of fun. It's a fun little game. But I'm going to call this video to a close now before I ramble on, ramble on any further. So once again, just thanks for joining me for this. And I'll catch you back for whatever series or video is next. You can also feel free to check out my Discord. Say hello there. Uh, until the next thing, take care and uh, stay safe and uh, have a good one.